Tom Segley. I'm a sophomore. I'm from Old Bridge, New Jersey. Uh, I have a mom and dad. I live with my mom and dad. I, I hate the term sneakerhead. No, I don't. I, I hate that. I really do. I, I just, I think that's like for a little kid, like a sneakerhead is like a 10 year old middle school kid who got like four pairs of sneakers that his mom bought. Like, I just like, I, I just like the culture. I don't think I'm a sneakerhead now. Well, uh, last semester when I first got here, they wouldn't let me be a work study because I was on scholarship and then I had to think of a way to make money. So I just started fixing sneakers and I was like, wow, I could really make money off this. And I kept doing it and pursued it. And I guess it kind of blew up. My dad tried, like, really tried to like keep me street smart and my mom tried to keep me book smart. So I like, I'm not saying I'm like a genius, but like, <laughs> I guess I'm have an edge. Uh, in my spare time, I'm either playing basketball or fixing and buying sneakers. All right, well, I would either buy a sneaker that was really beat up and worn and fix it and make it look brand new and then sell it for more money than I bought it and make a profit. Well, I bought a shoe for $5 and resold it for 170 in the same day. And me and my roommate both work on the sneakers and yeah, we've done a few custom sneakers. We usually fix Jordans, retro Jordans, um, Nikes, phone posits, fix, try to fix anything, so. Well, I mean, I, I guess you have to be passionate about anything if you want to actually do good in it, so. Yeah, I guess I did become sort of passionate in it, yeah. A, a, a dream that I have with sneakers is definitely opening my own store and, and making money like I do now times 30. Every day I think about it. I always worry about what I'm gonna do in the future. Always, <laughs> always.